For this example, we're going to find the range and the standard deviation of the set of data. To simplify things, I have rewritten the data in order from least to great. The range is equal to the maximum minus the minimum. It's going to give us the spread of the data to see how far apart it is. So we're going to do 13, which is the largest number, minus 3, which is the smallest number, and giving us an answer of 10 for the range. To calculate the standard deviation, we first need to calculate the mean. So the mean is the sum of all x's divided by the total data values n. So we're going to find the sum of the data values first, press equals, and then we're going to divide by the total number of values that we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers listed. So the sum of the values is equal to 56. And if I divide 56 by 7, I get 8 for the mean. So now let's find the standard deviation. The standard deviation formula has a few steps if you're doing it by hand. First we want to find each value x and we want to subtract the mean x bar from it. And then we want to square those answers and then we want to find the sum of those answers. So it's definitely multi-step there and we can do that by setting up a table with each step. We want to divide that by 1 less than the total value. So it's divided by n minus 1. And then we want to take the square root of that to calculate the standard deviation. So my first step is to take each value x and subtract the mean from it, x minus x bar. My first value is 3. So I'm going to do 3 minus 8, which is negative 5. And then I have 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. Then I have 6 minus 8, which is negative 2. 8 minus 8, which is 0. 10 minus, oh, I wrote that wrong. 10 minus 8, which is 2. 12 minus 8, which is 4. And 13 minus 8, which equals 5. So each value, subtract the mean from it. You will get negatives and positives. Next step is to square those answers, raising it to the second power. Squaring will always result in a positive. So if you calculate negative 5 squared in your calculator and you type it in like this, it might give you negative 25, and that's because you did not put parentheses around the negative. So it's very important to do that so that it does square the negative as well. So if you want to just not type negatives, you can and just do 5 squared, 4 squared, 2 squared, since all of those will be positive anyway. So I get 25, 16, 4, 0, 4, 16, and 25. The next step is to add those results together. The sum of these numbers is equal to 90. So at this point, if we look at the formula, we have calculated the numerator. We found the sum of the squares of the x minus x bar answers. So my standard deviation is the square root of 90 divided by n minus 1. So if I look at how many numbers I have in my data set, which is 7, take one away from 7 and you divide by 6. You should be able to type this in in one step in your calculator, starting with the square root and then just typing square root of 90 divided by 6 and then press equals. That's going to give you the solution of 3.87298 and they want us to round to the nearest thousandth so we want to round it to three decimal places and the nine is going to make that round to 3.873 and that's the standard deviation.